What we are witnessing here is the first step of what I expect will become normal for our daughters and granddaughters. Selection number one, going to the Melbourne Football Club, the player is Daisy Pierce from the Gallery. The highlight of 2013 was the inaugural Women's National Draft, which saw the top 50 female players from across Australia selected in a draft involving AFL teams Melbourne and the Western Bulldogs. 25-year-old Darabin Falcons player Daisy Pearce created history when she was taken with pick one by the Demons. Those selected then took part in a curtain raiser match before the round 14 Melbourne Western Bulldogs match at the MCG. Well, Jackie, uh, it's unbelievable, isn't it, that this women's game's captured the imagination so much so that it's even taken politics off the front page of the Age newspaper. Yeah, it's pretty incredible. These girls are competitive, athletic, gutsy and highly skilled. And simply put, they play with a lot of passion. I've played since I was a youngster. I used to kick around um, the backyard with my big brother and my dad. And when I was 17, I moved out of home to Ballarat to study at uni. One of my friends played down at Diamond Creek. And they invited me down to a training camp, one, a training night one day. He told me about how there was a girls' team evolving at that club. I thought I'd give it a go. My parents didn't want to let me play back then because I was quite slight. I had absolutely no idea that girls could play Auskick. Got hooked from there. It was just one of those games that you just wished you started it's earlier in the time. Pick ups, one of your teammates do it, drop them, pick them up off the ground. Because what's that message telling you? I think the opportunity to coach the Western Bulldogs is really just for me, is just sheer excitement uh, to see these girls get very excited and passionate about perhaps having one of their dreams come true. Uh, you want to be a part of it and you want to help, you know, foster that. So for me, uh, coaching the Western Bulldogs is another opportunity to perhaps be involved in a team, to be involved in women's footy and and uh, you know, hopefully you know, imprint and help these girls achieve what they want to achieve. I love the game so much. Like, I'm always having a football in my hand. Like, I've loved it, like, all my life. I was kicking the ball around at my brother's halftime football match. Got into AFL through the captain of the basketball team. She also captained the local AFL team. Whilst people supported me, the people that surrounded me were really good about it. I think there were lots of reminders along the way that it wasn't normal. The club I played for, their name is the Bright Mountain Men. I was lining up and the opposition was laughing at me um, that I was the only girl in the team. The opposition uh, boy had the football and I tackled him to the ground and pinned him for holding the ball. And yeah, that was, that was my mo moment where I just said I'm never playing any other sport, this is my game. You're going to be kicking over here or kicking here and that 45 kick is a 20 to 35 metre kick, that is it. Coaching this group uh, firstly is an absolute honour uh, to be coaching under the Melbourne Football Club and from my perspective uh, in, in regards to my coaching career is probably something I, I hold as my highest achievement. What I love about the game is that physical side of it. Given that it's so tough and so difficult physically, if you achieve something while doing it, it really feels good. Just the spirit it's played in and, you know, we don't play for money or fame or anything. We play it because we love playing footy. There's going to be lots of people coming in and out. Don't worry too much about where you stand around the run. I think that women have a very um, strong influence on the game already and I think that in the future we will see female coaches in the AFL. There's a lot of um, females out there with the knowledge. It's just that they're just not supported enough in the environment yet. So I think this AFL game will really help coaches be, female coaches be noticed. It is pretty special. It is pretty special. And you've got to carry out all of that out there. Okay, you've got to carry it out there. Peter Sell's prime example. She's already involved in the men's Port Melbourne team and her standard uh, that she's shown us this week has been amazing. This opportunity gives me the, I guess, it's the opportunity to coach the best athletes in Australia. This is it, girls. The MCG, OK? That jumper, 154 years of history. Represent it well. Represent that number on the back of it really well. Have pride. Play with pride. Play with passion. 
playing with hunger, hunt the footy, and let's win this game. It has been a bit of an unconventional sport for women and girls to play, but I think that's changing now. People see that girls love this game as, as much as the boys do. What we want is our own national league so we can compete against the most elite women footballers nationally. Talent coming through underneath us is I'm a 20 year old and I look at you know some of the 14, 15 year olds and just think wow they're incredible. Hopefully in the 2020 there'll be a national women's league. To be wearing the Bulldogs jumper and to have an AFL, AFL logo and it really just means that the girls that we've got and the athletes that we have have been acknowledged as elite. Yeah, pulling on the Melbourne jersey, I, I mean, I get little uh, goosebumps about it, just thinking about it. Um, to pull on a Bulldogs jumper, it's pretty surreal. Um, you still kind of look down and just think, wow, um, is this really happening? But um, it's been amazing so far, and I just can't wait to, to wear it out on the MCG in front of a bit of a crowd, so it's going to be incredible. I always get a little nervous before big games, but this one is obviously the biggest I've, I've ever played on. I'm a little nervous, just everyone's watching, everyone's, it's the first experience of women playing AFL. You know, for the first time, women are actually going to be playing AFL on the MCG for AFL teams, like it's going to be an amazing feeling. The opportunity that I've been given to play on the MCG is the dream of many girls and boys across Australia. It's a dream of mine, like as a child I've always wanted to play on the MCG, it's like the most iconic ground in um, Australia. I'm pumped, I can't wait, it's um, to play on the G, just you know, it's going to be great, take it all in, you know, um, to be there out with the other 24 girls is just going to be fantastic, so very, very excited to play on the G. Well, the atmosphere is electric down here in the Melbourne Rooms. 300 women were nominated for this draft. These girls represent some of the best 50 footballers in the country. It's an historic day for women's football and they can't wait to get started. White running after it. We've got Roman Davies going to hand it off to Ellie Blackburn and has a shot and goal. And I think she's she's got it. And a good lead, beautiful stuff by Kira Phillips, and a great kick from Katie Brennan. She's kicked that. That's a bread and butter for her. She waves the crowd. Ballarat youngster who uh, puts it down to the forward line to try and ignite something for the Western Bulldogs. We've got Lauren Arnell who chips it over the corner now. Beautiful mark to Kira Phillips, the live wire. There she is. She has kicked it. She has kicked it. So that's uh, really exciting for Kira and also really exciting for the Western Bulldogs. And Chelsea Randall certainly is the uh, is one of the top uh, aerial markers in the game. 
it's Louise Watt in the ruck. And Ellie Blackburn there, just, you know, she's just so crucial in some of these plays. Alicia Eva now covers amazing ground, Alicia Eva, and she has great foot skills. Lovely kick inside from Chelsea Randall. It's found Jasmine Garner. Coming around to clean up, stand on the mark, puts the pressure on the, the Bulldogs, not have it all their way. And a really, really good win here for Melbourne Football Club. Chelsea, what a thrill. Yeah, it was just a, it was a fantastic. It was a really, dreams do come true, you know. It was, a, I can't, I've still got goosebumps from being out there and the crowd and supporters and everything was just fantastic. Well, Daisy, how do you sum up that win? <laughs> it was more than what we were expecting, I think. It was just a really good experience and uh, the win's one thing because we're competitive and we love to get out there and win games of footy, but I think it's an experience that the girls in the Western Bulldogs team will cherish as well. So it was a great, great buzz. And a great win first up on the MCG as the curtain raiser. Yeah, absolutely. A fantastic win and just proud of the 24 girls that ran out there, just gave it their all and, and everybody contributed and that's, as a coach, that's all you can ask for. Yeah, it's, a, it's a big occasion and particularly for women's football, it's a historic day. I mean, how do you sum up being a part of that? Yeah, just really proud and, and excited and I guess what I asked the girls to go out is, is represent the jumper, represent the number on the back of the jumper and represent the other 136,000 women that play this sport um, and represent over 11 million women in this country as well. So it's women's round and they went and did that and they did it so well. Oh,